Hello, this is Scott, and today I'm going to show you how to make these really easy dish scrubbies on your Centro plastic knitting machine. You could also use an Addy for this project. Very simple project. All you need is some regular size 4 yarn or 3 or whatever it is you're used to using in your machine, um, and some optional scrubby yarn. Now I'm going to start you off with this. Do not put this scrubby yarn through your machine and you'll see why in a moment. Um, I actually think I messed up my sh machine a little bit doing that, but I'll tell you, do not put this through your machine. It's not gonna be good for it. We'll start this project off the way we start any project. We'll go ahead and put in, give yourself a little tail like this maybe. We're gonna put in your first needle. I always start with the black just for counting purposes, and you're gonna go back and forth between each of your needles, skipping every other one. I like to leave my yarn nice and loose because I'm going to pull it tight later anyway. Now once you get to the last needle, you can stick it right into this little... Oops, I'm going to go behind that. Put it right in there, and I like to use the second or the third one. It doesn't really matter for this project. And then what you're going to do is just going to go around, I like 18 times. I think that's a good number, so I'm going to go around 18 times. Two, three you hear that click right there that click is because I tried to put this yarn through it and it got it really stuck up and when I was trying to get it out I think I might have hurt my gear a little bit that's why I'm telling you don't put this through there Put the regular yarn through. I don't remember what I'm on. I think I'm on like 12 or something. I'll just do a few more here. We'll call that good. Now, so you're gonna leave yourself a nice little tail here and cut it off. I always like to leave a little extra because a couple cents of yarn is better than not having a project finished. Now I gotta find my needle. Oh, there it is. Take your needle, put it in. And we're gonna take this project off. The way you do that is whatever the last needle that your yarn's in, that's gonna be the last one that locks in. So that's locked in there. Now everything that's coming off after that is not locked. So I like to hold the one behind it. I'm just gonna grab, pull through. And as you get better at this, you'll be able to do three and four in a row. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm just gonna do a bunch in a row. I like to hold on the one before it so that it doesn't fall off. And we're actually almost done with this project already. I'm not happy that I messed up my machine, but I'm happy to be able to tell you to not mess up your machine. I'll see if I can fix it later. I think the gear that I messed up is this one somehow. And that last one doesn't want to come off, so I'll just back it up and pull it off manually. No big deal. All right, at this point you are done with your machine. The rest is pretty simple. You've got the bottom and the top here. All you're gonna do is pull the, pull the end you just finished off. Just pull it nice and tight and then take the bottom and pull it nice and tight. Now it'll curl on you so that you'll have to pull up like that. Get them both in and now we're going to take one side. We're gonna put it right in the middle of the hole here. Push it right out the hole on the other side. So I just went right through the hole, pull it out the other side here and now I'm gonna flatten this thing out. We've got our basic shape made already, so now I'm gonna pull them both tight and just make a little knot here. Once, twice, got a little knot. 
Oh, I think I didn't get it caught in the right spot there. I got a little a little bump there. So, but that's okay. This one will be a little scrunchy version of it. So the last part that you got to do here is you're just going to take these, put it through both of them if you can get it through. My needle's kind of small. Well, I suppose yours is too if it's the needle that came with it. You're gonna try to get both of them through there. You can do it one at a time too. I'll just do it one at a time for now. You're gonna go into the middle of this and don't come out the other side. You're gonna go right up to the top, and make a little handle. I'll get my other one now and make a little handle. Come up through the same place and then just tie this off as long as you want it. Cut off the excess and there you go. There's your basic, basic uh, dishwashing cloth or whatever. Now, what I did to make it so that you have the um, the other part here, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video a little short because I think you know the rest. Um, I just took my scrubby yarn and I just gathered, you know, maybe, maybe a foot and a half or so. And I just put that in the needle. There we go. I stuck it in the middle and just tied it off. You'll cut this off later, so don't worry about if the tie is pretty or not. For that matter, you can cut it off now. The more scrubby material, the better, right? There you go. Just cut that little piece off there. And then just on one side or both sides, if you, I just made one side scrubby and one side not, you, you just go around however you want and just go in, come down in there, back out, find another place a little ways away and come back out. And you can make a spiral or you can make whatever kind of pattern you want, but whenever you're done, just go ahead and make a little knot. We'll just pretend I went all the way around that for the sake of keeping this short. When you're all done, you can either just go back into the middle. This is what I did. I just, I reinforced my middle there and I just kept it around, going around in circles and I tied it off at the end with just a little knot. Just go in there, do a little knot and all done. And so if you kept on going in spirals, you'd see what I mean, but it ends up looking like this on one side and then nice and clean on the other side. Or if you want to do it without the scrubby, you can just finish it the way it is, and there you go. You got a nice little dish scrubby for next to nothing. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks again. Please subscribe. Please watch my other videos. Have a great day.